back to my channel guys so as you guys can see from the title of this video i am making fig and salt fish croquettes now fig is also what we call green bananas in dominica so for this recipe we're gonna start to saute our salt fish and first i'm going in with some olive oil so next I'm going in with some curry powder. Now if you have turmeric, you can use that as well. I just want the curry to toast for a bit before we go ahead. So I'm gonna have it toast for about one to two minutes. Not burn guys, not burn, just slightly toast. Next, I'm going in with my salted codfish. I'm doing it a little bit different this time. Usually, I go in with my vegetables, like my seasonings, first. Next, I'm going in with a little bit of salt ground black pepper and in this bowl I have pimento peppers or what we call seasoning peppers I have red bell peppers as well I have the yellow I have green I have scallion parsley garlic and some onion and I'm going to go in with all these seasonings now I cut them really really small So I'm going to cover this up, have it go for about two to three minutes, and then it's going to be done. I'm going to set it to a side so it can cool, and then we can start with our green fig or green banana. So next we're going to be doing the green bananas. Now in here I have some water. I am going to add some olive oil. Now I add the oil so that the, what we call the stain doesn't stay in the it doesn't stay in the pot so i'm also adding some salt just some sea salt and here i have some green bananas i have six large green bananas now they are this color because I put them in the fridge. I did not want them to ripe before I did this recipe. So what I do, I take the head area out, I cut the head off, then I cut the bottom area off as well. And then I just use the knife and I just cut a line here, just about, just about half an inch, just about half an inch deep. And then I add it to the water. So I'm going to do that for the rest and I'll be right back. Okay, so they're now all in the pot. It's going to come to a boil and I'm going to have it boil for about 15 to 20 minutes. So guys, I just drained out the water. I am going to remove the skin. It's still hot. Don't do as I do. I'm going to take the skin off, place the green bananas in another bowl. Now, be mindful that green banana does not mash the same way that potatoes do. Potatoes are softer. So, I might end up putting this in my food processor just to pulse a little so it will be a little bit smoother. Okay, so I'm going to take them off from the skin. Pulse it a little and I'll be right back. So this is what it's looking like. I'm going to pulse it. First, I'm going to add some butter though. I'm going to add some butter, pulse, and we'll be right back. So this is how my green banana is looking after I pulsed it in my food processor. 
So here I have salt, pepper, and garlic powder, one egg and an additional yolk, some breadcrumbs, and here's the salt fish that we sauteed earlier. So let's get right into mixing it all together. So we're starting off with the salt, pepper, and garlic powder mix. Now I'm not putting in all because remember the salt fish does have salt, so you don't want to put too much. Okay, next we're going in with our egg. Next we're going in with some of the breadcrumbs. I'm not going in with all, I'm going in with half. And see how the consistency feels like. And then if needs be, I add the rest. So I added my breadcrumbs and now we're going in with that salted codfish. So this is how it is looking. I'm going to cover it up with some plastic wrap. I'm going to place it in, and I'm going to place it in the fridge. I do need it to be a little more firm without having to add breadcrumbs. Okay guys, so now we have our little dredging station. So I'm going to be using my ice cream scoop and scoop out just about a palm full. And I'm just squeezing it together. Now make sure it is cold because it keeps together better when it's cold. Now you can roll this up like codfish balls if you want to, but I'm doing it in this shape. So I like to roll mine and then shape the top and bottom because I want it to be more of a cylinder shape. You can see all the specks of the salt fish in here and the the seasonings right so what we're going to do first is to put it in flour so we're gonna have one hand dry and one for wet so you want a thin layer of the flour So onto my next hand now, into the egg. And breadcrumbs, back with my dry hand. This is how it looks, and you're gonna place it in the plate. Now, I did put some breadcrumbs in the plates as well, just a little light dusting so that it doesn't dry out, okay? So, I'm going to do the rest off camera and I'll be right back. So, these are the croquettes before I start frying them. I'm going to start going in. I'm going to fry them until golden brown on each side. If you have a deep fryer, you can use that as well. Now, I haven't tried it in an air fryer as yet, so I don't know if it will turn out the same. Gently. Good, I started removing some already. Oh my god, the kitchen. 
Actually, this smell is so good. Next, I'm going to put in the other batch. So I'll be right back. So this is how my croquettes are looking. I'm gonna serve it with a dipping sauce and some, maybe some salad on the side, but it's it's more like an appetizer. You just wanna have your dip and your toothpick and just like you do with the, the codfish balls, the same thing you're gonna do with this. You're just gonna have a dip, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't done so as yet, please subscribe, like, comment, refer my video to someone you think that would like it. And thanks again. Do remember to continue to have a good day on purpose and see you guys in my next video. Bye.